I was scared to death of my sister's dolls as a little kid. The Talking Tina was a, uh, a show that had a very profound impact on me. I just, I, I, it really messed me up. And my sister had all of her dolls in her bedroom with her nightlight underneath it. And it was like a flashlight underneath these faces. And I just said, see if there are any good stories that we could do on on dolls my father had worked in marketing and advertising and so as a kid i was exposed to all kinds of marketing campaigns and that fascinated me and i wanted to write something about how advertising affected children don was very influenced by the fact that madison avenue was programming these dolls to be your best friend so the whole killer doll um device you know which of course had been used before but i realized that it had never been done in such a way that you could treat the doll of as a full-fledged character chucky child's play what child in their right mind would want to play with a doll that looks like chucky my son when he was a little boy saw the poster for child's play and that gave nightmares brad dorf does the voice of chucky and brad's great he's this amazing oscar nominated actor he does the voice like jack nicholson chucky i'm gonna kill you the animatronics were amazing in that you just see him scurrying like a yeah. like a rat that doll that could scare the hell out of anybody there's a presumed innocence with small things and then when they turn on you yeah you know even though he was all but how many inches tall he was the scariest meanest most vicious demented shit doll i said talk to me damn it or else i'm gonna throw you in the fire you stupid bitch you fucking slut to ah, jump with me Before he was more of a loner, and I think he's mellowed now, having a wife and a, and a kid, but he's still very creative in his methods of killing people. 